and welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this video, we're going to have a look at the information and symbols on the LCD screen and viewfinder on the Fuji cameras. So this is the XS10 we'll have a look at. So we'll just go over what comes on that display, how you can add it, and what it's actually uh, telling you. So what we'll do, we'll have a, a closer look. I'm going to output the HDMI uh, and record it and we'll go through it. So let's uh, let's go and have a look. All right, so here we are looking at the LCD screen and what we've got up is probably more than what you would see if you just got the camera. So to actually add or remove any of these uh, information sections on the LCD and the viewfinder what we need to do is go into menu, into the spanner setup, down to screen setup, boom, to page three, and then you get into display custom settings, and then you just tick what you want. And as you can see, I've ticked most of the boxes, some of the ones that are most relevant that I usually have on the screen some I don't I don't have boost mode on normally or dynamic range but as you can see I've got most of them connected up so then we come back out and then we get that screen so let's go go through it so first off on the left we've got the exposure scale as you can see as you change the exposure in manual mode it'll move and we've got what the shutter is, so I've got mechanical and electronic. I've got autofocus plus manual focus engaged. And we're in AFS, which is your focusing. And you can see AF lock on when you press the shutter button. We're in manual mode. And this is what exposure mode you're in. This is your distance scale. And when you actually focus, you have a blue bar which shows your depth of field. This is your shutter speed. Which we're in aperture priority. So this is aperture which you can change with the front dial donated by the blue half moon and then this is exposure compensation which you can control with the rear dial you see as we do it the analog exposure goes up and down uh, now in shutter priority so the front dial is now operating the shutter and the exposure compensation is again back on the back dial program mode and then the front dial will shift the program, changing the shutter and the aperture. And you've still got exposure compensation. And this is your ISO. We're in auto mode, which automatically goes to face detect and ISO auto. This is scene detect. And there's your creative settings. That's your histogram. That's because your external power connected and your battery meter this is whether you've got boost switched on or not and this is your dynamic range setting 100 at the moment next we've got film sim which is standard at the moment and then a white balance which is on ambient and i've got it on then this is your touch screen which is off at the moment but you can change it to shot press to take a shot or press just to do the af or just move the S box around the area and then it goes to off. And then shooting in RAW or JPEG will be shown up here. That's how many frames you've got left on the card and that's how long you've got left for video on that card. And this is your resolution and frame rate that you would be shooting in video. So now I look at the video screen which is basically the same part. I've got the mic levels on, kind of mode you're in and whether you've got the movie silence setting on or off. That's what uh, format you're in, and then I've got HDMI display out, and you're doing 4K to the SD card, and then how long you've got on the card. So we're back to the uh, main screen, and as you can see, if we go to the viewfinder, it's basically the same. Most of the same information is shown there, but just uh, laid out slightly different. Then back to the screen, and then as you press display back, you've got nothing, full info and back to your custom and the same in the viewfinder it goes off completely but then goes there you don't get that full information and that's the uh, 
LCD and viewfinder. So we've had a look at the information and the different symbols on the back of the uh, screen and how they look in the viewfinder and what they mean. So I hope that's uh, helped you in some way. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.